most politicians around the world has no clue. They have no clue about what's happening to the labor markets uh, due to the strong forces of digitalization, automatization, the, the big change that is coming to our labor markets. They, they have no clue. Would you say that technology is the biggest single threat to jobs today? It's a threat, but it's more so an opportunity, I believe. Uh, it's an opportunity that we have to adjust for and take care of. Uh, the problem I see is that, uh, you know, I went to endless meetings in Brussels with 30-odd uh, ministers for employment, and we were all talking about other things than the, the challenges that we face uh, given technology changes, and, and that has to change. So is it that technology is replacing workers in middle-class jobs? Machines are doing middle-class jobs better than humans can? Well, they're doing some jobs better than humans can, but there are other jobs that need to be addressed and other skills that could be developed. Um, if you, for instance, look at the skills that we can see are needed much more in the future, that would be skills that have to do with uh, sort of interpersonal relationships, creativity, uh, problem solving capacities, things like that. So it's a different kind of jobs uh, that are uh, potentially growing. Are there going to be enough of the new type of jobs to replace all the jobs that go away? Well, I think look at history. Look at how many people worked in the agricultural sector about 100 years ago, 150 years ago. Uh, I think 90% of those who lost their jobs in the agricultural sector, if you look over time, have found jobs elsewhere. So there will always be need for people in the labor market. Uh, how many people and where, that's the biggest issue. Matching is one of the biggest problems we have right now. Uh, in almost all economies, we have a high number of unemployed and a high number of, of vacancies at the same time. It's a mismatch. It's a mismatch when it comes to training and education. And I also think that there are uh, personality traits that is hard to catch in a, in a formal uh, CV or a, or a resume or something like that that might be extremely valuable to an employer. So we have to have finer tools that I'm sure could be uh, developed by using big data and so forth uh, to, to map an individual competence uh, broader and better and finer than we do today. All the, the boring stuff can be made by machines and robots, but everything that has to do with human interaction to, uh, and creation and problem solving, to the end of the day, uh, the individual mind still at least are much better on that than anyone else or anything else. What about people who are not especially ambitious? They don't especially want to get ahead. They just want to get a paycheck so they can feed their families. What, what yeah. place do they occupy in the new economy? That's what should worry politicians, um, because you have those people who are not so ambitious or perhaps are not so social, not so outgoing, have a hard time communicating and so forth. They are, at least in the first stage, uh, potential losers. Those are the ones that if I was a politician today, I would be um, uh, looking out for and, and thinking about how can we help them to gain more confidence? How can we uh, help them to retrain, to become more outgoing and, and perhaps find other ways of, of helping out in the economy. Uh, I, I, that's my big worry, really.